I'm Karen Larson and here are your evening headlines from Two Works for You. There are new developments in that deadly duck boat incident in Branson. The NTSB now says the recovered recordings show a fast change in weather before the boat sank on Table Rock Lake, killing 17. They say the lake went from calm to deadly dangerous in just a matter of minutes. The recording showed that the lake was calm when the boat entered the lake around 655, but the NTSB says Whitecaps suddenly appeared five minutes later and the winds increased. The captain made calls twice on a handheld radio and alarms sounded. Funerals began today for nine of the people killed in that incident. Only two members of the Coleman family survived. Today's services honored three who drowned and five more will be laid to rest tomorrow. Safety advocates say duck boats should have changed after a deadly accident in 1999, but they never did, and they're hoping this tragedy makes a difference. Broken Arrow police have identified the woman killed in a crash earlier this week. Police say 45 year old Mary Jo Dickens was driving fast on Houston between Aspen and Elm on Wednesday when she suddenly hit a telephone pole. A second vehicle was struck in the accident, but that driver only received minor injuries. And through the day today, we have seen some sunshine after some morning clouds. Temperatures back in the lower 90s. So it was a warm afternoon as we move through the rest of the evening into the overnight. Here's what you can expect. Mainly clear to partly cloudy skies area wide. As we move into the morning hours, though, we're going to be watching out to the west of us by 6 a.m. Showers and thunderstorms moving across mainly north, central, and central sections of the state. But as we move through the morning hours with temperatures starting off in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees, we will see an increasing chance for showers and thunderstorms across eastern Oklahoma as we move through the late morning and especially into the afternoon hours for our Saturday. Looks like any storms that would develop during the afternoon will slowly start to push off to the east as we move into our Saturday evening. Now we expect highs tomorrow generally running in the 80s, a little bit warmer to the west, a little bit cooler to the east with those lingering clouds and the showers in far eastern Oklahoma. And we have a marginal risk for severe weather, not only for our Saturday, but also on our Sunday across eastern Oklahoma, which means heavy amounts of rain and some gusty winds, but the majority of the storms that we would see should stay below severe limits. Thanks.